Hey, hello again. Uh, so I think um, it's a bit overdue, but I'm going to try and explain why I've not done any one of these recently. So last weekend I went to this seminar called uh, Mitmaster, Mitmaster Seminar 2019, and um, that was uh, really good. That was um, over Sunday and Monday, so it was a two-day seminar actually. Had to stay um, overnight in the hotel that it was being hosted at, and uh, there, was, there was quite a lot of good stuff there. There was the Mitmaster, uh, the guy Matt Chapman, um, doing his. It's like pad work. It's it's a big sort of padwork system. Um, has a sort of it was good for all padwork stuff. It's, we do a lot of it in kickboxing, so it's good to look at things that we can potentially take and implement ourselves. Then there was a guy called David Breen, who is like this really cool kickboxing guy. He's trained about 15 world champions, which is pretty crazy. Um, and then there was Bob Breen, who is like um, this uh, big. JKD guy's been doing it for a very long time. He was trained by Dan Inosanto, who of course is the guy who was um, trained by Bruce Lee and was the only person who was given official like permission to teach JKD to other people. So that was really cool seeing him there. He was on about how to um, uh, perfect the jab and get a really good jab, which is really cool because I've sort of been looking at that stuff anyway because I did. Hey, I finally finished Tao Chi Kung Do, and um, so it was interesting to see the stuff I read in the book um, in him and how he uh, how he moved and how he did everything. And then finally, we had this guy called Phil Norman who was um, pioneered this ghost system. It's about it's more for sport boxing, kickboxing type stuff, but um, it's design it's based all around elusiveness and not getting hit so very interesting sort of very tactical lots of footwork involved and that was um, it was all really good fun that was I also went on this um, on the first day in the evening there was this like business mastermind so me and like my co-instructor went as with me as well and there were like six other people I think uh, I think it was five other people and the guy was hosting it there and we all just, um, it was interesting to be on a mastermind because I've, I've, I've heard about them I sort of roughly know what it is um, but I've never actually been on one myself it was very interesting I did feel a bit weird because I was like the only guy who didn't actually own a club there so it felt a, a little bit strange and obviously I didn't have that much to really say myself but it was still a really good experience I, I learned a lot from it and I'm kind of looking forward to doing more of that sort of thing in the future so it's been like two weeks that I've missed as well, and the week before the seminar, uh, I don't actually have an excuse for not doing it, but um, the vlog I mean, um, but uh, I hosted all the classes myself, because my co instructor wasn't there, so I had uh, someone else who's like, a, and he also teaches on like a Thursday, um, and uh, he was just there to act as like the assistant, so I led all the classes, so I led the junior, the senior one, and then the kickboxing one as well. Um, that was really interesting, I felt like it went really well from what I remember. Um, I think I managed to make the classes good and, and fun and interesting. Uh, you know, my goal was to make it good, fun and entertaining, but also that they'd still walk away with some good knowledge. Um, so I think I managed to do a good job delivering that in every class. Each one is quite different in the way you have to approach it. Um, but I felt like it, it went really well. It was, it was a really good confidence boost. And you know, I can look back and see how far I've come since I first started uh, to do the, the teaching. And I can, you know, I can use these um, videos that I do every weekend to also look back and see how far I've gone which is um, kind of why you know, I think I've mentioned before why I wanted to uh, do it in the first place and like record what, I'm, what my thoughts are but um, that's all a really good like little uh, boost for me so that being said um, with today's classes it was the numbers were pretty low this uh, week um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why uh, I don't think it's um, anything to really worry about too much but we had three 
juniors. One was um, someone from like the, the lower, of this, like, it's called Little Dragons, but it's like there's, there's juniors, which is like 6 to 15, and then 2.5 to 6, it's like this Little Dragons thing it's called. Um, and this was a student who's obviously um, going to like looking to implement and going up as he's getting older to go into the junior classes. So he was one of those kids in there. Uh, that seemed to go fine. I didn't have to do that much of it myself because um, it was a small class. You get only really for demonstrations where I, I get like beaten up or thrown around and stuff. Um, seniors, for whatever reason, there wasn't any seniors again. It's not the first time it's happened. Um, but yeah, it's, but yeah, it's um. But I can't complain too much because it means I uh, get to not do anything. <laughs> and then finally, the the kickboxing normally is quite a lot, but th this week there was only five. Um, so in that class, we did try and implement some of the stuff that we uh, um, we covered on on the seminars, some of the stuff we thought would work well in in our classes and how how we do things. Uh, so we implemented that; it seemed to work fine. Um, we tried some more movement stuff in there as well. Um, seemed to confuse quite a lot of them actually. It's quite interesting how simple things like footwork can screw you up mentally when you're first learning it because uh, a lot of it, some parts of it are kind of the movement is quite, it's very unnatural because it's like opposite to how walking works or or you don't think that much about what your feet are doing when you're focusing on like punching and stuff, so that was uh, interesting and worked well as well. So with other things, I finished those two audiobooks that I mentioned in the last one, um, Influence and Think and Grow Rich. I am not entirely sure what I'm going to listen to next or what I'm going to get next. I think I'm going to get this book. I think it's called Talent Code. It's on my reading list. I've got like this list of things to like read or listen to. Um, naturally, it's kind of just because you get recommended other books through books you read, and they they recommend good books for different things, and you end up like, building a massive list of things to like go and check out, and um, it gets way too way bigger than you can actually uh, get through it all. But um, I'm trying to chip away at some of those things that have been there a little while now. So that's on there. I'm going to try and uh, listen to that when I can. As well as that, I did um, on the the Mastermind seminar. Um, the guy who hosted it gave me this book for free. It's one of his own books. It's called 99 Ways to Get a Student. So I'll probably um, read through this. See if there's anything, any good ideas for what I want to try and do as well. Perhaps. So, um, yeah, so that's also something else I'm going to be doing at the moment. So, I think that's everything that I'm going to cover this week uh, in this one. Um, I'm not, I've not got a, like a, a topic thing this week just because I wanted to try and use the time more to, to bring everything up to speed with what I've missed out on the past two weeks. Uh, uh, and, yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. I do have, um, I'm, I've set my focus back on to trying to create that, the new video that I want to do next, like the proper video, not these little things. Um, so I'm going to hopefully try and find uh, ways to, to get filming for that in. Um, but other than that, uh, I think that's, uh, that's it for now. So, see ya.